What is the most common cause of IVF failure? What is a potential solution? The majority of embryos that don't implant or result into miscarriages are chromosomally abnormal, so you could argue that this is the most common cause of failure in IVF in general. Well, embryos that are chromosomally abnormal uh, will either, the majority of them, will not implant, meanly they will, they will result into what we know as a negative IVF cycle. So that's when IVF cycle is done, an embryo is transferred, but it does not result into a pregnancy. And by the way, the most common cause for miscarriages, whether that's through fertility treatment or through natural pregnancy, are because of chromosomal abnormalities. PGTA is basically testing embryos for underlying chromosomal abnormalities. A simple answer to that is through selection. How PGTA or chromosomal testing improve that is that because we know that only embryos that are chromosomally normal can result into a healthy baby. So by being able to select embryos that are chromosomally normal, we are improving the chance of having a healthy baby or a live birth as we call it. And in the same time, we are lowering the risk of miscarriage. And also by improving the selection through IVF, we are lowering the number of attempts that women will require to do to be able to achieve that successful outcome. Yes, of course, I mean, this is part of it, because if you think of it, if you are able to improve selection, and that can be done through testing the chromosomes of the embryos, you're reducing the number of attempts of fertility treatment that you will go through. And by reducing the number of attempts that you require, to produce a successful outcome, you are reducing the overall cost of IVF. Of course, testing of the embryos add extra to the cost of, of, of the treatment, but when you look at it in the long term, that's the most cost effective way of doing IVF. The majority of chromosomal abnormalities of the embryos tend to stem from the eggs. So the process of egg aging, we think, maybe start early 30s to mid 30s. Uh, so as women get older, as you go through the latter part of the 30s or the early 40s, there's a considerable number of eggs that have gone through that process of aging. That is a natural physiological phenomenon, it doesn't have anything to do with the general health. Okay, it's just a natural, as in the same way as we age, we might be very healthy, but we still go through aging, eggs do the same.